Today, I have a story for you called Bedtime in the Forest. The author or person who wrote this story is named Kazuo Iwamura. Kazuo is also an artist. He made the beautiful paintings for his book. Bedtime in the Forest is a pretend story about some squirrel children who want to stay up all night to play with their new friends. Let's see what happens. Bedtime in the forest. Time to get up, Mama Squirrel called to her children, just like she did every morning. Mick sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. I'm still sleepy, said Mac, and he rolled over and curled back up. Why do we always have to get up in the morning, said Molly, yawning. Because I said so, said Mama. Good squirrel children sleep at night and get up in the morning. The sun was already high in the sky. What a beautiful day to play in the treetops, said Mama. Yes, the children agreed. The children were hopping through the trees when they happened on an owl family. Look, cried Mick, the owls are still sleeping. They must not be very good children, said Molly. Get up, called Mac, come out and play with us. Shh, said Mother Owl. Owls sleep during the day. Come back at night if you want to play. We saw owls sleeping in the daytime, Mick told Mama and Papa that night. They don't get up till nighttime, said Molly. Can we go play with them after supper, asked Mac. No, no, said Mama. After supper, it's your bedtime. You can play again tomorrow, said Papa. Good night, said Mama. Sleep tight and she went back downstairs. Are you sleepy? Mick whispered. Not a bit, whispered Mac. Let's go see the owls, whispered Molly. Yes, let's go. Quietly, the children hopped out of their bedroom window and headed for the owl hole. The bright moon lit their way. It's almost as light as day, said Molly. It's nice being out at night, said Mac. Hi, said Molly. We've come to play with you. Soon the owl and squirrel children were good friends. Wow, said Mick, this is fun. I want to try the rope swing too, said Molly. Me too, said Mac. But before long, the squirrel children got very tired and they fell asleep. What's wrong, the owls wondered. Why are you sleeping? It's night, time to play. The owls were disappointed. Luckily, Father Squirrel was out looking for his children. Oh, there you are, he said. Wake up, you naughty little squirrels. It's time to go home to bed. Oh my, said Mama, where have you been all this time? They were playing with the owls, said Papa, just as we thought. The next morning, the children were late for breakfast. You must not go out to play at night again, said Mama. No, said Mick, we won't do that again. The owls are wide awake at night, said Mac, but we got so sleepy. Good squirrel children sleep at night, said Molly. What are you making, asked Mama. A mailbox for our friends the owls, said Mick. We miss them, said Mac. We can't play with them at night, so we'll write letters to them in the daytime, said Molly. What a good idea, 
said Mama. Shh, said Mac, the owls are sleeping. They'll find our letter tonight, Mick whispered. And tomorrow we'll get a letter back from them, whispered Molly. The end. Thanks for joining me today for Bedtime in the Forest. Check in the description below for some questions about the story. Have a great day reading.